Good morning everyone. I'm back. Now, what happened yesterday? I put this down to dry. Look at this. This is my husband that walked by with a lot of paper in his hands and it just scraped over the side. So he came in and he said, Ew, there's a little accident. Oh uh, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes. So I gotta fix this. This is pretty much dry as you can see here in the middle it's still um, if you put your hand on it you'll feel that it's really cool and that's a sign that it hasn't dried totally yet. So we're gonna let that dry but I want to put another pour over here and let it go over the side so that we can camouflage this. Uh, good thing we have some paint left over from yesterday. I put the lids on as you can see. So I'm going to get my colors together and I might even put on a little bit bl more blue in, in this one. Let's see, that's the last one. Okay, now what I have to do is uh, make sure that the thickness is okay, but I'm expecting it. Yeah, this is perfect. And this one. When you're using paint that has uh, been setting for the whole night, you have to make sure that your thickness is still okay. This one is a little bit on the thick side, so I'll add just a tiny bit of water. And there it is. And the last one. Ooh, we don't have much of that left. I used a lot of paint. That's a lot of paint. I can't uh, understand why I use so much paint, but okay, that's the way it works. Now I'm going to uh, put in the beige, put in the blue, put in that beautiful burnt sienna, and a little bit of the salem color. Then we're going to give it a little swirl, and we're going to pour right over here. Now, whoop de do like that, but that's not all, because I'm missing my sienna color. A little bit more sienna, a little swirl again, that's it. That'll go over the side nicely. That's okay. I think it's uh, that's sort of what I, I'd like because I'm going to be putting stuff on top of here. So this band is going to be nicely. Oops, got to put a little more on the side though. I want it to go down a little bit. That looks better. Okay. Now a tiny little bit to fill these holes. <laughs> oh, now I got drips, didn't I? I didn't watch that. I don't want drips. Ooh, but I do like that. Look at that. Is that beautiful? But I don't want the drips. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to ruin it. But I really don't want those drips coming down. So, uh-oh. I can feel the paint underneath sort of... I gotta get a brush. Because we wanna make sure that this is taken off the K 
canvas. Now, if you want, if you're gonna do this, you better be careful that everything that is um, <clears throat> on here is dry, because if not, you're gonna take it all off. You don't want to do that. So I'm doing it really, really softly. And then the last bit with clean paper. There it is. Okay, that's, that's looking okay. Now it could come down a little bit, not too much though. That's it. Now that'll dry um, flat because right now you see a little bit of a bulge on top, but it's going to dry flat and uh, that way we don't have to uh, toss the whole canvas. It is uh, fixed as you can see on the side beautifully and uh, we'll just let that dry and hope my husband doesn't go and mess up some more <laughs> don't let him hear that okay uh, I am going to do with what is left in my little cup I'm going to do a couple of squishes so let me put this away And I put it smack in the middle of the table so he can't, you know, just walk by and do something to it. Now, yesterday I did make um, a couple of uh, pictures, some images. Let me put some drops of blue in here. And I'm going to go and look if there's anything good to make a print. You know, one of my giveaway prints. If so, you'll find the uh, the link under the video. Oops, that's my last paper. So, these are the only ones I can do, guys. Ooh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. There it comes. That might look really good in a in a in a pendant, right? This bit here. Let us get the something like that. Or a darker one like that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All I need is a little glitter. put on some really fine art glitter and this is bronze I think that'll do nicely with uh, with the browns the burnt sienna but I also have this one I found this one I don't know what this is let's see ultra fine art glitter This is a little bit more sparkly, so I'll put that in also. <sighs> okay, let me show you, see that? Let me get you in focus here. There it is. Just a little bit, you know, when you, when it catches the light otherwise you almost don't see it so we'll see what happens with this one and then we still have this one 
But I was thinking of putting uh, the glitter on and then torching. That might give us a nice effect. Let's see. Oops. Now let us get it in close. Okay, now we're gonna torch it. And what did that do to the glitter? Let's see. It sort of made it disappear. There's not much glitter on there. Okay, that's enough. Now it's glittery. See that? Let me get in closer. There's some glitter on there. We'll see what happens with this one. And I'm out of, um, let's see if I got some more here. I got some bigger. Oh no, that's Yupo. Can't use you both. It's way too expensive for all these swipes. So I'll uh, I'll be right back and I'll cut up some photo paper, and we'll do another because I'm sort of liking these colors. I think I'll just fill this up, then uh, go and cut some because I really like the uh, the sienna with the blue. Maybe a little lighter color. Nah. Okay, that's it. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Cut some more of this photo paper. So let's put some on here. Let it come down a bit. I like the stripe going down the middle there. That might be nice. Yep. Itty bitty glitter. More than enough. There's no nothing on there. Don't know what I did. <coughs> Okay, one more. This time I'm going to add just a little bit of that cream color. A little bit more of the sienna to spice it up. One drop of blue. Stir it. And let's put it straight on there. That's cute. I'm going to torch it straight away so that we can. Isn't that just cute? One of these. 
I was thinking about making something with just these big dots of um, of paint. Look at that. That is almost like a shell. Isn't that awesome? I love this. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty. That is pretty. Little bit of glitty. Glitter, glitter. Just a little bit. To make it sparkle just a little. It's not really catching the light, but I bet when you go outside with it, it'll be pretty. Okay, that's it, guys. I have wasted my last paint. Well, maybe just a little bit here on the uh, on the plastic. These colors really go well together. Even this is like marble. I love that. See, once uh, sometimes it looks like a shell, then it looks like some sort of an animal uh, skin, like a snake. This is um, these are colors are beautiful. Only this is a uh, just a little bit mixed up too much. So uh, let me see if I can get some out of here. So we can make it just a little bit more interesting like that that's beautiful <clears throat> there it is that's really pretty this one I'm not gonna put any glitter on because I'm thinking is that big enough? Yeah. Ooh, almost. Let it come down a bit. Now it's big enough. Look at that. Wow. That's going to be awesome. This one is a keeper. This one I'm going to make for myself. That's going to be beautiful. And then with, with these beads, that's going to look so awesome. Let me show you up close. So this, and then these beads. I think that fits. Or I might have a really pretty green one. This is going to be mine. I'm going to make this into a really beautiful uh, necklace. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm getting really uh, caught up in this paint. Um, I'll see you in the next one. I will be making one more today, but I'm going to go back to my signature colors, I think because I gotta get that fix <laughs> I gotta get my turquoise fix yeah so uh, I'll see you in the next one love you all to pieces <laughs>